I, I'm currently at uni in, in my second year studying fine art and art history and I'm really enjoying it so far, it's really good. Um, I've also had a lot of opportunities this year to um, take part in local community art projects. For example, I've started interning at um, the Plymouth City Museum and Art Gallery. I've done a range of um, things like I've looked into their archiving and like organised some some of that, and um, it's just really interesting to see how the museum manages it. And I've also helped with exhibitions um, on the private view of Peter Randall Page. Um, I got to like stand and like offer drinks and direct the public and just that sort of thing, which was it was really fun. So. And I also helped put up the Laura Knight exhibition, which is on currently. And um, yeah, so that was a really good experience to see how it was all going up and all the details that were involved. I suppose it was kind of at college when I just decided like I really enjoyed painting and I wanted to get better and I just felt like it was the right choice for me. When I'm older, I want a job that I, I want to enjoy it. And so why not, like, take one of my hobbies that I really like to do and just turn it into my life path. <laughs> no, I, I'm really interested in working in museums and galleries. So I, I maybe think of a direction in that sort of area that I would, I'm always, I can't see myself not painting. I'm really interested in the Impressionist um, period and uh, so that's the kind of style that I've decided to mostly focus on um, yeah I really like the techniques of broken brush strokes and like broken color I always like to go out and sketch um, from my surroundings and when I go like traveling as well um, I'm always like have a little sketchbook that I take with me just if I see something that's in inspirational and could help me with my work and photography is quite a big element in my work too in terms of accuracy because um yeah I use that to get like the right perspective and I always kind of accentu accentuate um, certain features of the photograph in my like own, own sort of style in my own way. Um, I mostly work quite small because I like to have a lot of detail and it just takes so long but um, I would like to go into bigger canvases so I can use like bigger brushes and just experiment more with like my, my technique and like have a have more range in my abilities. But I mostly work in oil paints this is because I really like the way it brings out the colours the colours are really rich and um, yeah, I just really like this element about it and colour is a big focus in my work. I just want it to have a reaction, like I want people to respond to it and it to have an impact on them and mostly to enjoy it, to enjoy looking at it and appreciate it. Last year I, um, I focused on um, a new new forest piece where I went and like sketched in the new forest and took photographs and I ended up with a really like successful painting because um I really spent a lot of time and energy on it and I'm quite happy with it because it ha it's got quite a con contrasting colors that have quite a dramatic presence and like the response to it was really positive so that's probably my favorite Recently, I've been, I was involved with the Plymouth Aquarium's Making Wave project and it was a tourist project um, where they had these huge um, sunfish sculptures made and um, I was selected as an artist to paint one. Um, yeah, it was really fun, I really enjoyed it. It was a really good project to be involved with and um, it's currently on the High Street, Plymouth High Street. It's going to be there all summer. And in September they'll be auctioned off for charity, so it's a great project really.